this may look crazy but let's see what it's going to be let's see how it's going to turn out um as i'll be taking this time one dollar this time i will be selling i'll be selling 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 you know okay let me leave it like this look at what i have here look at what i have here this is my free this thing so i don't know to do anything that will send me out of the market you know with this presently now anything stupid that happens to this market i'll be forced out of the market you know why no amount no matter your capital you are not above being thrown out of the market you know that what i have here so if this market should spike now with this loss size i'm using with this loss size i'm using it will be so disastrous it will be so disastrous that each of these things can be so heavy that i may be forced out of the market the 500 dollars here will be a drama do you see that but let's see how it's going to go this is why everyone who want to place trade anyone who want to trade must be very very careful and be accurate in your analysis so i am bringing this to you so that you will know how i am doing it practically let's visit our higher time frame do you know that even this time i place this trade is a kind of a wrong entry because i don't know what will be the outcome i don't know what will be the outcome of this this may decide to pull back this candle may decide to pull back and if that happens, the story will change. So, then the question is, why did you enter since you know that this is the case? And you know that here also, you know that here also, each time the market touches to that um, green line, it always pull back. Then why did you enter? Then you have seen that it has crossed this place. Why did you enter? Since you know that it's not that good entry point, why did you enter? Look at it. The question is, why did you enter? Did you enter it with the condition that you are sure of what you are doing or what? Let me show you what I, what I want to achieve. This is one, two, three. And this one is the fourth one. Let me bring it down. Let me bring it down. Close successfully. Close successfully. Close successfully. And this one closed successfully. Do you see that? Even in the presence of spike. I was able to place the trade and close it successfully. You know, some of you, uh, I don't know how to put it, you are struggling, you are panicking. Though I don't advise you to trade that way because it may be so, it can be disastrous for you. But from my analysis, this very market you are seeing will go back a little and come back to be a very huge profit but if this candle here decide to uh, did you see it now do you see it do you see it now the market need to go back this market need to go back then get a momentum to push through you know ah uh, this is what 
we'll talk about. It was the same Skyping that I did now that this thing has come to clear off. Let's look for another thing and see what will happen. <clears throat> Let's see what we we'll have here. This one is also so dangerous that it can pull back. This one can also pull back to this very direction. It can come back like this with the aim of meeting here. Or it may decide to go up to a point that it will take some minutes down to this place generously to start going down because it is not that possible for this to come up to this place and complete and start moving up so but one thing that happened is that it will be interrupted several times then another one will open up and with it, it can now have a strength or momentum to push through otherwise it will definitely pull back to this place but before we make our claims let's see for our last time frame to see do you see that this is a claim here this is a bearish candle so what you are seeing in one minute and one hour time frame what you are seeing in one hour time frame is a partially a bearish candle do you see it what you are seeing is a bearish candle partially it's a bearish candle and if you zoom out completely you will know that the market is already in this direction in that trend do you see that it's already in that trend so anything that will happen to this market is the market pushing to change a direction so this is one thing you should know when using this strategy the question you should ask yourself is what am i using this strategy for am i going to use this strategy to identify is it an exit and entry point or am i going to use this strategy to um, identify reversal point am i going to use this strategy to identify support and resistance zone these are a few things that you should know when you do that it will help you do you see that that look at the market is now coming up again this is that boom 1000 that i placed trade with do you see that so these are a few questions you should be asking yourself this trade i'm entering this strategy i want to use now am i going to use it to for what um, what is this strategy all about is am i going to use it to see um a positive entry point on what condition on a candlestick on a reversal point or um from i don't know demand zone or support zone where am i going to use it for so this these are few questions you should ask yourself but in case you don't have all those knowledge i'm talking about now use this strategy present here there is something you will see it will help you to place your thread confidently but listen to me carefully every strategy has fake signal there are signals that look like which will cause similar there are signals that look like they are real but if you place your thread it will surprise you that it is not real let's use this as a case study let's use this one here let's use this one here when this thing started like this and close here and open another one here and close and get to this point with all indication you would think that as this candle has spiked to this place and crossed this line the next thing you should see that this one now will pull back like this with the aim of meeting up to this place not knowing that it's going to move up to this very direction please get those things straight and you will not make certain mistakes you have been making so from here now what would you use the strategy for one you have to check from this place watch this um, a kind of gold line in the indicator window two watch this gold line anytime you see that this gold line have crossed these 50 levels please be rest assured that something 
is coming up something is coming up then watch the angle of this very yellow line did it come to a direction where this thing is going or is it going on a separate direction that is when you will know that the signal is partially becoming fake do you see that that the signal is partially becoming fake now let me show you this please follow this completely what are the things you will look at for and once you see them you will know that you are coming closer to where you will be placing your thread please follow this i want you to get this thread watch here this gold line crossed over to 50 this yellow line touched the 10 levels please follow this thing squarely and cross here now the main chart all of them crossed together once you see those things in your one hour time frame know it that with your 50 dollars know it that with your 50 dollars in your one minute time frame you are about to flip your account to at least 200 dollars if you follow this very thing if you can patiently follow it carefully now how many hours will it take you to see this Let's assume you woke up in the morning and you discover that this is the candle that is trending for the day. That this is the candle that is trending for the day. This candle here. This is one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours. Let's assume you woke up by seven. This is seven, eight, nine, ten. Do you see it? Four hours is gone. Then eleven open in a, at eleven o'clock. This one opened up and started going down. You will not enter by that 11. You only watch your indicator window 2, which is this one, and discover that the gold line is approaching the 50 levels. Then at 12 noon, the gold line crossed. Then when the gold line crossed, when the gold line crossed, the yellow line here also touched and this one also touched the 10 levels then the whole line here started coming together as one this is 11 then by 12 all of them met the demand from your analysis so one thing you should know is that once it is 12 o'clock as this thing opened up here and start going down then you watch your window one, window two, then you check your main chart, you will see that they have started making an agreement. But this is where you started. This is where you started. This is where you picked the market from. You didn't do the Skype in here. You just waited because you were interested in catching the spike here. Which this same thing you are doing here can be done also in your crash. So in your crash, what you'll be looking at for here is you doing your skyping why you look out for such opportunity for for you to catch your spike so it's not a new business that you can trade at the same time watch out when to place your trade for spike and watch out the next place to take your um, spike so do you see that so now by one this one now let's assume you place this one now by 12 this one opened up then and continue spiking like this you know what happened from this place now if you are a good trader that followed what i'm showing you now you will know that from here to this place that's going to be a breakout because if you zoom out you will see that this thing has broken out from this place now from here you must have entered either somewhere here or you wait to this place by here this thing have crossed and come across 50 and um, 20 
this place have changed direction completely it have stepped between the 50 and the 80 and here the whole line must have crossed and you enter your thread here this is what you will get so each time we place our thread and realize we didn't place our thread all you place your thread you place your thread um the chain spiked and give you like two dollars depending on the loss size you are using and these two dollars came to sorry uh you place your thread and this thing gave you like two dollars and while you are watching the thing is becoming zero uh like zero point uh sixty and you are rushing to close your thread no you don't need to do that if you are sure of your analysis because at the end of this thing this candle that opened up can give you a spike that will multiply this to 0, 0 0.60 to four dollars at a spike then the next one at the same candle it will keep pushing down pushing down that this candle may finally end up to close at twelve dollars depending on how many position you placed you see how we make money on forest trading but you cannot do this if you don't follow markets squarely so if you just open your candle your market and you see that this one is spiking you say ah like like here this one just spiked you said okay it has spiked because in your one minute it's going to be a very long spike not knowing that it's just a scratch on a candle in your one hour time frame so you place and expect more spike only for you to see that the one that you benefited or the one you are waiting to drop more is no longer pushing downward that it is it is going upward making you to lose your trade this is how simple this strategy can be i don't want to be long in this video so quickly take your this thing if what i'm saying is confusing pay me let me mentor you so that you will get the root of those things if i pay if you pay me you will learn those things believe me you will know the root of the market it's not left for you to place your trade at the right time that is how market can be look at it this time i'm adding a moving average 50. this time i'm adding an average moving average 50. still on the exponential um sorry for those who don't know how to do that please this is if you touch your f on the on the main chart on your chart this is where you will touch touch this place this is the plus touch it look for moving average the first one we are adding the moving average when you do that you press done when you do this and you look for moving average you press done this is what we have 50 this is what we have 50 you look for another one this time we are adding 12 12 12 let me change this so that you will see it 12 this is that line you are seeing that place that red line the red line is 12 the red line is 12 the yellow line is that um 50 then this kind of blue line is 21 i'm using 12 21 50 ema 50 21 12 ema that is what i am using this one is 50 please this one is 50 21 e and that is what i'm using this e represents exponential so if you see s m a that is simple moving average so what i'm using is 50 21 e m a 50 12 21 anyone can go that is what i'm using then on my indicator window one please if you touch the same f plus if you touch here then you now look for stochastic oscillator that is where you should look it uh, that that is what you should look at for i'm just using the background because of this because of the levels that is what i am looking at for all right so this is it five three three close close um exponential then that is what i'm using then the moving average this time i am using 16. i did not repeat any of the moving averages i have there because 
I will use the one on the main chart to see the current movement from 12, 21, and the 50. Then use this 16 to see the middle between the 12 and the 21. All right? Good. So indicator window 2. Then I add relative strength index. I use 14. That line you see that crosses above it is this. So this time use 10 displays, please. Use 10, 90, 50, 20, 80. That is what you should use. Please use it. It will benefit you. Then the last one, moving average again, I add 50. I add 50 so that I will see a total turn around on that place. Do you see? Ever since that thing happened, look at it. Do you see that after it spiked here, the market never spiked again. It keeps pushing. So, but eventually, I didn't close my market that time. It will be here. But I want to close the trade so that I will concentrate and talk to great people like you. So this is how simple this market can be. As long as this thing have crossed to this place and this thing crossed to this place. So I enter this market with the condition that my market have crossed to this place. Now, what is the zoom level you should use? Remember that the first condition, the first thing you should do is to zoom out completely. What is the essence of zooming out? You zoom out to see where the market is going. As this thing is like this, you don't know if this market is operating from, let me show you. You don't know if this market is operating from this direction, which means it's going down like this. Then you zoom out. This one now will come up to this place as if is uh, is the market is going to this direction. Do you see that now? So when you zoom out, you will know if actually the market is coming from this direction because they are two different things. A market that is coming from this direction shows that the market is done like this. A market is coming up from that direction, from, from, this, from this direction, from this direction, is showing that the market is coming but trying to come up like this. So if you zoom out and place your trade with the market that want to come up like this, expecting it to keep going down it may not happen that way that is the sense of this thing and that is why you should pay great attention to your market so zoom out completely like this zoom out if you zoom out you will not see that this market has been in that this market is going down like this do you see what i'm showing you do you see that so use your five minutes now you will see that more of the market is on this direction more of the market is on this direction so placing your trade expecting it to come up to this place like imagine will not happen that easily because the market is already in this place so every line you see here previously is a resistance zone get that into your mind so it is possible that this market you're seeing will be coming up and it will go in down coming up it will fight three candles it will go down Three more candles, it will cross the previous one and keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing until it will cross the top. Do you see that? It will keep pushing like what happened here. Let me show you. Like what happened here. This one will come up and cross it and spike. This one will come up and cross it and spike. It will keep pushing, cross the other one with two more candles like this one. You keep this can this one can come and spike. Go back, go back, go back, go back until you get to this place and struggle with this one because of the momentum of sellers. It may cross this one and get down a little bit and go up and came here and fight with this one and come up. That is what we say that the market has reversed. What does it reverse from? Reversing from the direction it was going to now another direction. What I look at it. The market was going to this place. Now you get to the point, it starts reverse. That, that thing that was going and started going up again. So what you expected to trade is as the market is going down, you trade with downtrend. As it is going up, you trade with uptrend. That is the benefit of the market. So trading against the trend makes you a loser. Ah, uh, Let me stop here. If you want more, please come to our mentorship class. We'll open you up to so many things that you need to know then you do the need for. Remember that as you join us, you will never regret. And if you join and pay, please pay great attention to 
yourself you will definitely make huge profit and you will smile home my name is gdfx i want to see you succeed my heart desire is to see you become someone great someone that can take care of yourself your family and you take care of others as long as you have this good mindset don't be greedy forest is not your mate it can frustrate you forest is not your junior brother you can command you can command forest forest can also command you you can be broke forest can make you rich forest can also make you broke you can be rich if you are not careful about forest it can make you to live all the remaining days of your life as a debtor but this is not my prayer for you all right so my name is gdfs i am signing out thank you thank you